Hi everyone. Um, my name's James. Um, excuse the shorts. I packed in a bit of a hurry. Um, I think my introduction is actually pretty much what Jerry just said, but if you don't mind, I'll do it again. Um, I, I build things and um, I make films and I go on long and intentionally difficult journeys. February, February 2015, um, I'm going to build a boat from Manhattan's waste, take it to the source of the Hudson, high in the Adirondack Mountains, this tiny little lake called Lake Tier of the Clouds, and make a descent of the river back to New York in this boat, basically made out of the city. Um, so the, the idea of that is to make a very direct link between the environments in which we live and um, what we refer to as nature. And I think we tend to think of ourselves as separate from nature, and this is a, um, an attempt to, through showing that connection, kind of dissolve those barriers. So we're making a film about Hudson River Project and building a campaign around that film. Um, yeah, so today I'm building a boat from the waste of the feast. And as Jerry said, they've been so efficient that that's actually proving to be quite difficult. Um, but, so I've expanded the scope of where I can get materials from to the dumpster, which is outside the back of Pioneer Works. So it's got, it's got some of the stuff from the feast in it, but more things have appeared, including an iPad, which I found at seven o'clock this morning. Um, and ironically, the most valuable item in the dumpster, and it's completely useless to me for making a boat. So, although it might make the end of a paddle, I don't, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, the Hudson River project is, is very obviously an environmental allegory, but um, there's more to the idea. I think that um, caring about the environment is a, is a luxury because if you're on minimum wage then you haven't got the time or the resources really to be separating out your trash and all the rest of it. Um, and I think just as the Millennium Development Goals are being reappraised, we need to think of everything all at the same time rather than compartmentalizing the environment and economics and all the rest of it. We need to think about it at the same time. So I'm going to be back tomorrow evening with a bit of luck um, after I make a journey from here to Manhattan in the boat that I'm making right now. So yeah, hopefully I'll see you tomorrow night. If not, it was very nice to meet you all. All right, so I'm here with James and he's getting ready to set off in this, what do you want to call it? Like a man-made awesome vessel. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, MMAV. All right, see, there we go. Yeah. All right, see, see the, a, came with the name. It's a MAV, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. So, yeah. So I finished building it at uh -huh. uh, 3 a.m. 3 a.m. last night wow. after um, starting at 7 a.m. 7 a.m. yesterday. So how was the process, you know, like emotionally in terms of you putting this together from everything that you uh, found and collected? Yeah, well, it's quite daunting at the beginning, but yeah. like with anything, mm -hmm. if you just get started, then gradually it all comes together. All um, right. And I was nervous at about lunchtime yesterday. Uh -huh. uh, but then by five o'clock, mm -hmm. by tea time, I knew it was going to work. So. <laughs> well, yeah. you know, let's get you to it. Yeah. You know, I mean, and I've let's got, see how it works. I've got no idea how it's going to handle. Or all right. I'm even worried that it might be too, might have too much flotation. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> but I I'm pretty much guarantee that it will leak. Well, the idea of the flotation is that even if it does leak, that it still keeps me. We well, don't forget out to swim the trucks there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've got a dry suit and all the rest of it. So. All we're, right. We're well, ready. Good luck, man. Thank you. Good luck. All right. Thanks. Let's get to it. See you later. All right. Hi everyone. Uh, um, yeah, so I, I made it back. <laughs> this would have. Uh, thank you. This would have been a very awkward five minutes if, if I wasn't here. Um, uh, so I'd like to thank um, everyone really for yesterday. It was quite a long day. I finished at 3 a.m. this morning. 
Um, and really having you all there asking me what I was doing and help some of you, particularly Zach, helping me find materials. It, the boat is yours it, as much as it is mine. And if one of you wants to take it home, that would be great because I'm flying home on Tuesday evening and I don't think they're going to let me take that with me. Um, yeah, so um, there was a few uh, design challenges yesterday. Um, and at lunchtime, I was quietly panicking, when, you know, wondering whether the path I'd chosen design-wise was actually going to work. Um, and at five o'clock, I knew that I had to put a lot of time in, but I knew it was going to it was going to pan out okay. So if any of you are working on projects and you're at the beginning and you're having those feelings, then just remember that just keep going, and eventually the thing will float. It is very tippy. What's going to happen if a wave hits? Huh? If a boat comes by in a wave? I don't know. <laughs> Yay. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't get as far as I wanted to. Um, if I had gone straight out on the boat at 3.30 this morning, the tide would have been in my favor, but um, I didn't do that. Um, any naval engineers in the crowd would have noticed a, a design flaw there um, in that my legs didn't fit inside the canopy. Um, I, th I think um, I still think I've got the waist I had when I was 22, which obviously none of us do. Um, so I, it was quite difficult paddling actually, and I don't know if you've seen that big cruise liner out there, but I got three quarters of the way up there in about an hour, um, just from the park where I launched three or four blocks that way. So it was, it was quite hard going. Um, and I, I turned around thinking that only an idiot picks a fight with the moon, basically. So um, it was also a great uh, dry run for Hudson River Project, which is happening in February. Um, and I'm, I have kind of mixed feelings of great excitement and great trepidation about that. Um, yeah, we. Well, I guess it is, you know, I'm the kind of founder of that project, but there's lots of people involved in it too. Um, and we are still looking for funding to make that a story which isn't just about one person, but that can be shared with as many people as possible. Um, so if anyone has any ideas on how to do that, um, I'm here in town until Tuesday. Um, you can find me on Twitter and all the other usual means of communication. Thank you.